What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I'm making a video talking about remote duels and uh, different setups you can do, including of course my own setup for remote duels too, and, and explaining what they even are, because some of you may be wondering, what are you talking about, remote duels, what's that? I'll explain that here in a second, but first off, this video is actually sponsored by Konami, so big thank you to them. They wanted me to talk to you guys about remote dueling, and also too, uh, they sent me that uh, Toon Chaos box open up yesterday, which... On that note, by the way, I'm supposed to get my other boxes of Toon Chaos um, tomorrow. I, I think they kind of got delayed with everything going on, and uh, yeah, so expect uh, more unboxings is what I'm saying, because right? I want to get one of those collector's rares. Anyway, though, here is my setup right now, okay? <laughs> uh, I'll explain as we go, because with remote dueling, it was kind of the answer to what's going on right now in the world with the pandemic and everything. You can't really go to a place that's crowded full of people and play Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I mean, it's tough to even go grocery shopping, of course, right now. You have to be so careful. So this is Konami's answer to that. Basically, with Remote Dueling 2, the main things you have to think of is that you need a way to see your opponent's cards, and then, of course, a way for your opponent to see your cards. Makes sense, right? So with my setup, and again, I'll talk about some other options and stuff too, what I'm using is my laptop, so I can see my opponent's cards right there, just set up over there. Then, of course, I have my playmat here, have my cards laid out already, you know, of course. And uh, one of the things I have right here is something I wanted to explain. It's like this little phone holder sort of thing. A company actually made this. I'll have a link to it in the description in case you're interested. I bought this just like anyone else. They didn't send it to me for free. Not sponsored on that, okay? Uh, anyway, it is very simple. It's basically a tripod made out of pipe. But uh, you can set your phone on the top of this right here, and that can be one of the ways you can capture your play mat and uh, show that to your opponent is kind of the idea. So basically you would just set it right here. As you guys can see, it does not get in the way of the playmat itself. And then I can just take my phone and just set it right up here. They also have little rubber bands to make sure it's a little bit more secure. But again, this is something that's really simply made. I, I think I... I think it was $30 I paid for it. Honestly, you could probably go to a hardware store and build one of these. But again, I'll have the link in the description if you guys want to get one yourself. I think they also had one for webcams, which was pretty expensive. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's my option on this because I feel like that might be one of the easier ways. And I feel like something like this might do better for most people just because you never know what people have for like computers and that kind of stuff. But I feel like everybody nowadays has a smartphone. So <laughs> that might be one of your better options. Of course, too, if you also want to see... Uh, your opponent's field, you could use something like a tablet. Maybe you have two smartphones or, or something like that, too. Remember, it doesn't have to be a laptop. It could be a desktop computer, even. I mean, as long as you can see your opponent's cards, obviously, and they can see yours, you can play the game. I mean, it's pretty simple on that. Now for other options, too. Okay, let's say you don't have the smartphone set up, or maybe you're using your phone to actually watch your opponent, okay? But you need something else to capture your cards, your field. All right, one of the probably easiest options to go with it's just a tripod and a webcam. <laughs> it's, it's really simple. So I have like a Logitech webcam. This is, I think it's the most expensive one they had or when I checked. And of course that I think was not terrible. It's like an HD webcam. So as, as long as you have pretty good quality, you're good, right? I mean, you don't, you want your opponent to be able to see your cards and not be just blurry. So I'm going with this one. Uh, I think they've gotten cheaper now. And then, of course, a tripod. You can get these just about anywhere. I usually find them at garage sales, honestly. Um, yeah, like this one right here, even Goodwill, and it was $4, $3.99. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why I feel like this is probably a cheaper option than most, because whereas this little contraption here was like 30 bucks, $4. <laughs> you know? And then, of course, you have to have a webcam of some sort. That's the only, I guess, uh, more expensive part of it. But I, I feel like even in these days, too, most people probably have a webcam or, or something to go along with that as well. So this is another good option, of course, with a tripod. You can move it any way you need to. You can make it taller, shorter. You can set it on the table, whatever. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you guys know all that stuff. I'm sure that doesn't have to be explained. But that's probably one of the options I feel like most people are probably going to go with. And then, of course... We also have this contraption. I found this on Amazon because I was thinking uh, this could also be another good option for you guys. So basically, it clamps on your table right here. Of course, you have, it does clamp on this table even. I mean, this table's like that thick. So it can go on a, a thicker table, basically. You plug it into a computer or something. That way it has uh, power to the light because it actually does include a light, which can help you out if you don't have good lighting. There you go. And then also it has a tripod mount on this side which can be changed out. It, I have like the phone holder one, as you guys can see, it just clamps the phone. But they also have one, you know, of course, for webcams and cameras and, and that kind of stuff. And of course, you can move these arms around, 
This is just something I bought off Amazon. I think it was around $30 as well or something, but I thought it'd be another good option. I figured I might use it on streaming or something. So I went ahead and got it, but I also want to show you guys as like another added option if, if you're looking for something else, because really with remote dueling, it's kind of whatever works for you. Again, you just have to remember that uh, your opponent has to see your cards. You have to see your opponent's cards. So you want to make sure, of course, your internet's good enough, maybe your webcam's at least good enough so you can see what cards. And, you know, you, you know the basics on that. So, um, yeah, it, the setups can basically be um, whatever you have. So there's not, like, anything just too defined on that, too. So I, I want to know what you guys have for your setup. If you are trying to uh, do remote dueling, do you have, like, maybe some books stacked up and maybe your camera on that even. I mean, that could even be an option if you need to do something like that or uh, something with Legos even. You could probably set up some kind of little tripod sort of thing even with that. You know, uh, let me know. Share uh, what your setup is. But for me, honestly, this is like the best setup I have, I feel like right now. And again, I recommend this little pipe thing. I'm going to get my phone off of this before it falls. <laughs> but I recommend this like pipe setup thing because again, it wasn't too expensive, but also to you go to a hardware store and I feel like just about anyone can build these. I mean, it's not even glued together. They're just put together. So, yeah, incredibly simple, but it works. So I, I got to give them credit for that. Again, I'll have a link to that uh, in the description. And same with, like, that tripod thing. Yeah, this thing <laughs> in the description as well. So let me know what you guys think. And I do plan to try out some remote duels in the future. That includes, you know, just some against friends to record. And maybe I'll enter a couple of these uh, tournaments too. So of course, uh, like and subscribe. And again, let me know what, what your setup is. If you're trying out remote duels, what do you have, you know, in mind? Or do you have any better ideas than what I showed? I'd love to hear it. And uh, yeah, of course, again, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.